in the previous video while discussing some exam good examples of burst reduction there was a structure like this uh, where you have a conjugated double bond which is conjugated with this aromatic ring and i am not writing the whole structure that was a uh, four membered ring structure i am writing the portion which is uh, involved in the reaction so this is basically the portion which was involved in the reaction and when you did a uh, barge reduction with it uh, first step lithium liquid ammonia and in the second step nh4cl you are getting two products like this one and another one is this and uh, many of you have requested to explain how this product is forming because in that video i didn't discuss about the mechanism of the reaction so in this video i will discuss about uh, the mechanism of the reaction so basically this is the first compound uh, so this is the starting material to have given now uh, we, what uh, it, lithium is there in the reaction medium so it will give electron here and so first first of all this will form this radical anion will form you can see now this lithium can give another uh, electron so i will i will uh, write two lithium and there will be another negative charge now uh, protonation has to take place by your ammonia molecule okay so ammonia molecule can also uh, serve as proton donor and if the protonation takes place you will have this structure okay so here also the protonation will take place and here also the protonation will take place so basically now you have this in your hand so you can see still these double bonds are in conjugation and uh, one thing i would say in the starting of the video that although the uh, isolated double bond uh, doesn't undergo the barge reduction but in this case this double bond is uh, susceptible to the barge reduction because it is in conjugation with the aromatic ring and you can see uh, this structure is also a conjugated structure so it has again or uh, there there uh, the probability of barge reduction is still remaining there so that's why another electron can go here now uh, again the same question whether Uh, it will go in this direction or whether it will go in this direction and you know it will go in this direction because uh, if the negative charge forms here for the same reason it will be unstable so that's why you will get this uh, radical anion first here you will have the radical anion sorry here you have a dot radical and this is your radical anion now again your lithium can give a uh, another electron so two lithium here also so you will have negative charge here now the base part uh, of this uh, reaction is how the protonation will take place now so this center can uh, um, take proton and uh, form like this so first it will take proton so basically it is protonated now and you have negative charge here but you can see this negative charge is fully delocalized here so now the question is where the protonation can uh, protonation will take place because uh, protonation can take place in this center and you can see by resonance uh, the negative charge is also present here so protonation can also take place here as well as it can also take place in this center also so three centers are there which uh, are susceptible to the protonation but we know that only one center will undergo this protonation and uh, so in this case the protonation will basically so i am writing here so in this case the protonation will basically take place here okay so here the protonation will take place and you will get this isolated structure so this is very important this is the regioselectivity of barge reduction i already discussed in the previous video of the barge reduction that whenever you have a benzene ring and it is undergoing barge reduction always you get your non conjugated product and in this case you can see you are getting non conjugated product there were another possibility that after protonation you could get this conjugated product but you are not getting this conjugated product in, instead you are getting this un non conjugated this product so uh, why this is happening i discussed uh, in detail uh, in terms of uh, 
molecular orbital point of view you can watch that video uh, and i am not discussing that thing here because uh, i already discussed it now uh, it is formed so what is next so next you have ammonium chloride so this will basically do the work of hydrolysis so hydrolysis means first it will take proton to form this OME and uh, this one now you can see from there a isomerization can take place and if this isomerization take place uh, you will have this structure after that again your protonation can occur from this center and it will give you this structure okay so after that uh, hydrolysis of this center will occur you know the mechanism of the hydrolysis this will go through a tetrahedral intermediate and you will get this product now uh, this is uh, the explanation of one product formation and you have another product so how that product will form so now you can see this from this uh, particular structure uh, sorry not from this from this particular structure another isomerization can take place so although I have showed like this one, but you can see this uh, ammonium chloride means uh, you have acidic source, and that's why these uh, in this case this double bond undergoes isomerization. But this double bond can also go undergo isomerization. How it will happen? So you can see there is a proton, and you have proton in your medium. So in this is by this mechanism, this double bond can also undergo isomerization now what is the driving force for this isomerization so the drive basic driving force for this isomerization is you can see in this case it is isolated but in this case uh, these two double bonds came in conjugation so that's why this isomerization will take place and after that the same type of mechanism it will take proton from here and that will give you OME plus sorry here you have double bond and after that the hydrolysis will occur so here you have R group, so hydrolysis will occur and you will have this structure. So this is how you can explain both the formation of this product and this product. And if you consider any other mechanism, you will not be able to explain the formation of this particular product. Formation of this product can be explained in various ways, but, but this is the uh, real mechanism because it can uh, only it can explain the formation of this product. So this is how this particular bar reduction will take place. I think this mechanism uh, from this mechanism you uh, can learn a lot because uh, it is uh, slightly tricky and uh, I would love to explain such things and if you want more such uh, discussion you can subscribe to my channel and also like this video. Thank you for watching.